30 Famous Buddha Quotes on Life, Spirituality, and Mindfulness Number 1. Do not dwell in the past, do not dream of the future, concentrate the mind on the present moment. The present moment and present time is the most important time there is. Learning from the past and planning for the future is practical and needed, but the present is where action needs to be taken. Number 2. No one saves us but ourselves. Many of Buddha's teachings were centered on the power of thyself. When it comes down to it, we should only be influenced by ourselves and value our own opinion the most. We ourselves are the only ones who can change our state of mind. Number 3. Understanding is the heartwood of well-spoken words. Understanding a situation and the meaning of words is the centerpiece in a well-constructed sentence. We must understand what point we are trying to make before we say something. Number 4. Ardently do today what must be done. Who knows? Tomorrow, death comes. Buddha is saying that anything can happen today because tomorrow is not promised. The general message of this quote is very famous but Buddha puts his own spin to it as a spiritual leader. Do what has to be done and live for today. Number 5. You yourself, as much as anybody in the entire universe, deserve your love and affection. Nobody deserves love from someone more than from thyself. Confidence is built from believing in and loving yourself. If we don't love ourselves, how do we expect another person to give us love? Learn to love yourself before anything else. Number 6. Peace comes from within. Do not seek it without. Peace is a state of mind and every person has the ability to find peace through their own thoughts. Do not seek peace from another person, a different location or a different age. Peace must be found from the soul. Number 7. You only lose what you cling to. Buddha was a big believer in not staking a claim to anything. If you do not own anything, you cannot lose anything. Many things in this world can be shared but instead we use them for our own selfish purposes. Learn to live with what you don't need. Number 8. Purity or impurity depends on oneself. Purity and impurity are terms that can define a person. You have the ability to be a pure person and you have the ability to be an impure person. The decision is ultimately up to you. Nobody else can decide that for you. Number 9. No one can purify another. Only the occupant of the human mind can purify oneself. Purity is something we are all striving for and hope to achieve. Pure soul means no regrets or anxiety toward the future or past. Pure souls believe in humanity and try to grow every day. Number 10. We are shaped by our thoughts, we become what we think. Our daily thoughts become who we are. Make sure your thoughts describe the kind of person you want to be. Spending too much time thinking misguided thoughts will lead down a road of impure thoughts. Number 11. The mind is everything. What you think you become. Thoughts turn into actions and actions turns into character. 
The mind is the powerful aspect of the human body. Our thoughts are powerful and they can drive us to do incredible or horrible things. Remember that the next time you begin to daydream. Number 12. Better than a thousand hollow words, is one word that brings peace. One word with great meaning is better than one thousand words with no meaning. Buddha was insistent on short speech and that is why many people who practice Buddhism have taken a vow of silence. Number 13. To keep the body in good health is a duty. Just as we need to keep the spiritual mind awakened and clear, we must take care of our physical bodies just the same. The mind does not work properly without a healthy body to keep it growing. Number 14. Just as a candle cannot burn without fire, men cannot live without a spiritual life. Spirituality was important to Buddha and his religion of Buddhism. Buddha believed that man couldn't live without a spiritual part to life. Spiritual is being in touch with your human soul. Number 15. Work out your own salvation. Do not depend on others. Self-reliance is an important aspect of life. People must learn to do things independently. An independent person will understand the real world better than someone who has relied on other people their whole lives. Number 16. In a controversy the instant we feel anger we have already ceased striving for the truth. In a controversy or an argument, once you get angry, the only thing to do is try to win the argument at all costs. Once anger is thrust upon us, reason goes out the window and the truth will not be brought out in its entirety. Number 17. To live a pure unselfish life, one must count nothing as one's own in the midst of abundance. An unselfish life is a tough task for many people. To truly live an unselfish life, we must never count something as our own to the point it is hurting other people to do so. We must lend our hand and offer what we have to those struggling. Number 18. A jug fills drop by drop. Patience my friends, patience. Patience is a virtue. Buddha describes the process of a jug being filled little by little. Though the process is slow and gradual, it does eventually get filled. We must learn to have patience. Number 19. Hatred does not cease by hatred, but only by love, this is the eternal rule. The only way to battle hatred is with love. Love can cancel out hatred and bring people together. There are many hateful people and hateful things happening in the world, but with a little love we can change the world. Number 20. Those who are free of resentful thoughts surely find peace. Resentment is a terrible thing to have on your conscience. People can live their whole lives with the regret of doing or not doing something. Resentment leads to a life filled with regret, which makes finding peace even more difficult. Number 21. Even death is not to be feared by one who has lived wisely. A wise person understands death and has come to the realization that it happens when it is time. Accepting that life has a predetermined expiration date for you can give some people closure and acceptance to death. Number 22. 
Virtue is persecuted more by the wicked than it is loved by the good. Virtue is the behavior of high moral standards, and the wicked will strike down on virtuous people more than good people will praise. Do not listen to the wicked, keep your standards and display virtue is all walks of life. Number 23. Give, even if you only have a little. Giving is what unites us as a human race. Give to people who are similar to you and people who are different than you. We are all in this together and sometimes we need to give each other a helping hand when we're down. Number 24. Should you find a wise critic to point out your faults, follow him like a guide to hidden treasure. A critic who points out true flaws is somebody you want to be around. As humans, we sometimes do not notice our flaws and therefore make no effort to fix them. The ability to know and work on our flaws is a big step in growing. Number 25. Meditate, do not delay, lest you later regret it. Buddha preached the importance of meditation to all of his followers. Meditation is important to relax and unwind, but also to let thoughts run freely in and out of your mind. Meditating daily is a common practice of spiritual and wise people. Number 26. Conquer anger with non-anger. Conquer badness with goodness. Conquering anger or dishonesty is done through taking the opposite road. Fighting fire with fire does not work in these circumstances. Opposites attract and in this case, opposites can conquer. Number 27. There is nothing comparable to one who is awakened. There is nothing more beautiful and powerful than an awakened individual. When we are awakened, we understand our capabilities and ourselves. Our thoughts are analyzed and our behavior is calm and spiritual. Number 28. Radiate boundless love towards the entire world, above, below, and across. There is never a wrong time to spread love no matter where you may be. The world needs all of the love it can get. Genuine and honest love and appreciation needs to be universal and acceptable around the globe. Number 29. When watching after yourself, you watch after others. Caring for others and caring for yourself should coincide. Watching out for yourself leads to being with the right people and caring for them. Watching out for other people leads them to watch out for you, which in turn means you are being watched out for. Number 30. Resolutely train yourself to attain peace. Peace is not something we can wake up one day with. Peace is a state of mind that is learned over time. Peace is realizing the good in life and focusing on the positives instead of the negative. Anyone can attain peace through practice of a pure peace. What is your favorite Gautama Buddha quote? Do you have any other quotes to add? Do you find Gautama Buddha's life inspiring? Please share your thoughts in the comments below.